Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today as we talk to Sunri over here and sort of ask him what's going on, because last episode we found a recording um, of him killing... killing... Uh, an error, uh, who was her name? I don't know, the Sith Dark Jedi that that was killed in, in the hotel. Um, yeah. Every other single piece of evidence is circumstantial. This one is not. Um, so, let's go over the evidence. Well, uh, you know I was having an affair with Alasa. I went there to break it off that night. But I can tell you it wasn't easy. She is... was young and beautiful. But I love Alora. I knew I had to do it. I broke it off quickly as I could and then I left. I found out later she'd been murdered when the Selkath authorities came knocking on my door. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith. No, you haven't heard of that. My war injury. No. Further, they say they found my heroes. Oh, yeah. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Selkath. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, unfortunately, I can't really present him the things that I discovered. Uh, I went to the Sith base and we found nothing. Let's go with this one. There's a few things we have to clear up. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. Uh, uh, there was a Rodian who planted evidence at the murder scene. A Rodian? Yes. I didn't know there were any Rodians on Manan. No? Oh, except for Tyvark and this one named Glupar who was hanging around the hotel all the time. Okay, so... Maybe there are a whole bunch of Rodians on Manan. But what does that matter? If he planted evidence at the scene, it's a clear sign of a frame-up. Yeah. He probably Why are you getting so hung up on the race? Of the real killer at the same time. The evidence of a Sith conspiracy keeps getting stronger, doesn't it? But I suspect there's still stuff you want to clear up. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. Um, I, uh, the just, just said, no, I, I said that already. I know you're guilty, Sunri. Well, it's, it's allegedly, let's, uh, come on. It's just, let's let the judge, the judges come to their own twisted and t terrible verdict because these judges are the worst. Uh, I've got the Republic's data recording. So the truth is out. Oh, there it is. I never meant to kill her, you know. There it is. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, but something inside me just snapped. No, that was premeditated. Oh, I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I. I killed her. That's not what I saw. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. That was premeditated. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. They found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. Wait a minute, what? Cold-blooded killer indeed, but the Sith found out the truth, didn't they? The Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence, so they planted their own evidence. Oh. Alasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to her Sith masters like some kind of trophy. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? Okay, so when he says the Republic actually took the evidence... Um... I... I, re I thought, you know... When he said the, the Republic had uh, not t taken... When they said the Republic was had um, destroyed the evidence, I, th I thought they had destroyed the evidence, but they didn't. They just did something worse. They copied the files or deleted the files on the original hard drive or whatever it was uh, and put them on their own computer, which is the smartest thing to do. It's definitely the smartest thing to do. Uh, so what do I plan on doing here? Uh, well... I am playing good at your shoes here. I don't think that's really necessarily the right option here. I'm, I have nothing against him killing her. She was a, th a Sith, a Dark Jedi. 
uh, and uh, he's a cold-blooded murderer, Sith murderer, uh, whatever. That I do that a lot, so it's fine. Uh, but but I think that he's dark side because this game is, is weird in that. So you're guilty, Sunri. Confess. You think I'm some kind of monster, don't you? No, All I, I, I did said was guilty. kill a Sith. How many Sith have you killed? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? Hey. It's different, Sunri, and you know it. It's not. We don't kill them in cold blood while they sleep. I don't well, see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to get information so Malik's army could destroy the Republic. She deserved to die. Yes. Yes. I. You're just complaining about the game. Don't complain about the game. Complain about me instead. Killing her lover while she sleeps is murder, even if she's a, th a Sith. Aha. If I confess... I'm looking at 20 years You're in lucky. prison. You're Look at you. And the Auto City officials might even place Colto sanctions on the Republic Embassy. Without Colto, how can we treat the injuries to our soldiers on the front lines? I... No, you will confess your crimes. You want to confess your crimes. Oh, that's low. No, it's Using not. a Jedi mind trick to extort a confession from me. You might as well beat it out of me. You'd have better luck if you turn me in. The Republic will likely lose its Colto export privileges, and then we'll lose the war for sure. Are you going to send all those thousands, millions like Taurus, to their deaths just for your sense of justice? Are Sunny, you? This is wrong, and you know it. I am a Jedi. What is it that you expect me to do to defend your actions? You do whatever you have to, Jolie. I know what I did, but I also know what's at stake That's here. That's you. No. That's your fault. I'll rot in here if I have to. I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to, but know what the consequences will be. That's what you. Th How is that dark side game bullcrap? Oh, maybe it's because of, maybe it's because of the uh, of the Force persuasion. Uh, that I, I I would guess that. Let's go with the same dialogue again, but without the Force persuasion. Jolly. Let's see what would happen there. I'm not gonna gain dark side points. No way. Uh, I want to play a, a light side one. Uh, let's see. There's something I need to clear up. I don't need that over there. I know you're guilty, and that goes with that. Uh, let's see. You're nothing but the Sith found out, and then he explains what went on. You're guilty. Confess. I don't. Uh, let's the Sith over there. So let's see. I suppose you're right. I want to expose you. There are just these are just excuses. No, the more more important thing here is that he's trying to blame the blame on me for his own mistakes. He is a cold-blooded murderer. Murderer, murderer, that's the one. Uh, he is the one that put the Republic at risk. So what he should be doing is, oh, but think of it. Not, oh, this is all your fault. No, no, this is not my fault. This is your fault. You're the one that killed it, killed her. Um, you need to ask me to help you fix your crap, not blame your crap on me. You see the difference here, mate? Because this is all your fault. See? Our character agrees. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to say that. And I'm going to see what the game uh, considers as light side. Let's see. There are just excuses. We both know uh, you have to own up to your crimes. No. I can't do that. And put the Republic's supply of Colto in danger. No, I won't. Now look. How do I may have done something You already stupid, have put it in danger. And it may only be worse for my standing by it. But I will not confess. Sunry, this is wrong. And yeah, you do that. whatever you... No. Okay, so that's the force persuasion. Uh, apparently, force persuasion is dark side. Lesson learned. Let's see what happens here. I, I'll, I will warn you. I will choose whatever the light side is. I don't care about the consequences, but I will still go with him being uh, judged as, as guilty. That's the. Uh, that's my hope. I hear that's you've been appointed. Uh, so I have a recording showing Sunri killing Elasa. Lies. It... Oh, that goes back to that. Fine. Uh, so let's you. see what else. This is it's fine. The yeah. So basically, I can't tell her of anything. I can hint at it, but well, there it is. I don't really need to do much, to be honest. I don't even need to present the evidence here, apart from the fact that the evidence is all circumstantial. But we've seen these guys being jerks before in their judgings and all that sort of stuff. So what do I know? Uh, actually, it's not you that I need to talk to, so I need to talk to the other guy, because the process... It's just weird, the legal process in this planet. Why Why do they do it like that? It's weird. It's weird. Don't be weird, game. Don't be weird. Uh, but I can understand the Force Persuasion there being uh, being dark side. I That's totally, totally nor normal, I suppose. I mean, 
it's not different to any at any rate than any other force persuasion, and we've done it for for way worse causes like saving a hundred credits, but and we didn't lose any dark lights light points or anything. But anyway, uh, so I am here to start the sunrise trial now. Let's go with that. Are you certain, human? Once the trial has begun, it cannot be stopped. And once judgment is given, the case can never be reopened. You must be certain your investigations are complete before your, you request a trial. This is the role of the Arbiter. Are you certain you wish to begin the trial now? Um, yes, let's begin the, the trial. Very well, human. I shall, advise, I shall advise the court and we begin immediately. Or something. Let the record show that the trial of Sunri v. the Ahto City Authority has commenced. Presiding our judges Shalkar, Josa, Nalesh Kekan, and Kota and Dula. This trial is to determine the culpability of Sunri in the death of the Sith Elasa. Representing Sunri is his defense in in his defense as a member of the Jedi Order. Do you have any opening statements? Um yeah. Sunri is guilty. I have his recording as proof. A recording! Let this new evidence be entered in the records. This new evidence is most convincing. Yes, it seems to be. Uh, this shortens the trial considerably. In light of this new evidence, there is no need to proceed with the witnesses or witness or cross-examinations. This court hereby finds Sunri guilty of the murder of Sith El Casa. In according with Selkath law, the prescribed punishment for murder is death. See? That's what you get. The verdict has been delivered, and this trial is now over. Remove the guilty party from the world, I suppose. <laughs> Twenty I, years. I'm sorry, Sunri. And Alora, there's nothing more we can do. Oh, Sunri, no! Yeah. Let's find out. Hmm. Well, there you go. No light points changed. Hey, Jolie. 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 Got something on your mind, dude? Uh, yeah, actually, you know what, after this, let's talk about you. Uh, no, actually, yeah, so what do you think of Sunri's verdict? You did what was necessary. Sunri was guilty. As sad as that fact makes me, justice had to be done. Doesn't matter that his victim was a Sith or that he was once a hero. I only wish that my old friend hadn't done it. But that's the thing about wishes. They don't come true. And now Sunri's dead. Which is a shame. He was a good man, you know, once. Ugh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. My jaw aches. To be honest, I don't like that the game didn't give me light side points for that. And why does your jaw ache, Jolie? You haven't been punching or getting punched. Uh, so let's try that again and see if I can get light side points out of that. And save the guy. Because I I, 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 what I said before is true. I want him... I want... Basically, I, I don't hold him accountable for that. Who cares? It was a Dark Jedi. They're evil and terrible. And he his only fault is that he was a jerk and was a pig and was cheating on his wife with a Dark Jedi, no less, just because she apparently was pretty. I didn't read that line, but it said it was a very big line describing all the prettiness and, and, and flashiness. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the, um, the trial going here. And let's let's try it again. Okay, so my opening statement is: I will find Sunri innocent. That remains to be seen, he says. Acting as a prosecutor for the Ato City Authority is an impartial observer from the Sith Empire. It is an honor to see justice served, and I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. Do not be too overzealous in pressing your commission, Sith. The first matter of business is the presentation of a sworn testimony by the proprietor, Ignis, of the hotel where the murder occurred. What is the testimony you wish to give us? The man I saw leaving, Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the trial. You know your place, Sith? Oh, know your place, I guess. This is important evidence. The court will keep this in mind near the top of the list of pertinent facts. We will now begin by calling forth the witnesses to the crime and taking their testimony. After each witness has given their testimony and you have cross-examined them, you may ask the, pres the presiding judges for their opinions on the current state of the case. This is a special privilege given by Manan Law only to the defendant, so use it wisely. 
The first witness is Firith. The pro prosecution will question the witness first. You are Firith Me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable Your Honor, testimony. Objection. Yeah, objection for sure. Objection sustained. Ask the witness your question and do it promptly. Of course, Your Honor. There you go. Firith Me, what did you see the night of the murder? Well... I came out into the hallway, after hearing the blaster shot, and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> a very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. A very pertinent point, Prosecutor. It is now the defense's turn to cross-examine the witness. Um, well... People seem to be missing the point of what actually happened and what actually was proposed, that she was killed by a blaster. But I'm going to ask this. Um, no, actually, I should ask this. Elasa is a Dark Jedi, isn't she? Yes, from what I could tell. She carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. Oh. No, this piece of evidence is very important. It establishes the character of Elasa and perhaps her intent in dealing with Sanri. Do you have additional questions? Um, yeah, how could Sunri have armed her if he was a cripple? Well, he was moving pretty fast running away, but yeah, I mean, how could he kill a Sith warrior in combat? I don't know for sure. Do not think less of Sunri because of his handicap. He is fully capable. I don't know if he is. Can't you? Uh, we need an expert on that. Can't you see that the man can hardly walk, let alone fight Elasa, says another year. judge. That is enough for now. We will deliver it on this later in private. Do you have additional questions? Uh, yeah, did you actually see the murder happen? You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? That was a loaded question. Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. Uh, your point is well taken, Arbiter. Do you have additional questions? Um... Yeah, I do. Let's go with all the questions. Was the metal left of the crime scene not a little too obvious? I think it may have been. I mean... You'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? The argument has merits. No, it doesn't. Do you have additional questions? It's like... I don't know, it's caught red-handed. You'd have to be pretty stupid to be caught red-handed, wouldn't you? Then it follows that I wasn't caught red-handed. That was all a sham. There's all, like, you know, that's not how it goes. Uh, but in this case, it is. But anyway, I have no more questions. Very well. Would you like to use this opportunity to poll the judges? Uh, sure. I do not have enough information to make an informed decision. I am unsure as yet as to whether Sunri was the actual murderer. I cannot make my decision on what I have yet seen. I just do not have enough information to judge this case yet. I cannot tell yet if Sunri killed the last, but I am confident he will be proven. Since the defense has no further questions, we will call out the second witness, the Rodian Glupor. The prosecution may question the witness. Glupor the Rodian. You were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sonri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? Glupor. Yes. This is clear, oh. then. My bad. That Sonri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. Perhaps, Sith. Perhaps. It is the turn of the defense to question the witness now. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what he said there. That's probably important. I, nothing. I mean, you can go back and pause. I'm sure it was nothing really relevant. It's like, yes, she was dead or whatever. Um, so let's start with the big guns here. Did you plan to meddle on Elasa? Glupor. Glupor. Don't do it, Glupor. The prosecution will be silent. What is it you wish to say, Glupor? Glupor paired by Sid to plant that metal. Are you certain of this, Glupor? Glupor wonky. Wonky. <laughs> this new evidence puts every entire case in a new light. Do you wish to ask the witness anything else? Interesting that they recorded it like that. I... Don't know what that is, uh, if they reuse the line or if they, I don't know. Uh, do you really think a cripple could have hurt Elasa? Certainly he seems like a strong man, but he is hurt too. Glupor do not think that men like that could un would stand up to a Sith. Not at all, but Sunri still ran faster after. We know full well the extent of Sunri's injuries, Arbiter. But the fact is still remains, do you wish to ask the witness anything else? Uh, yeah, did you see Sunri kill Elasa? Glupor not see Sunri really hurt Sith, but Glupor did see Sunri leaving the room after that Sith in it, with that Sith in it, but Glupor not see him really kill Sith. An important distinction, Arbiter. Do you wish to ask the witness anything else? 
Uh, isn't the metal at the crime scene too obvious? A clue? Loop or not? No. Why anyone leave things in someone else's room? Loop or just... You just said... Anyway, things is happening is just odd. Yes, odd indeed. Do you wish... Okay, that was a weird question to ask after I uh, have had asserted that... Uh, that uh, he was the one who planted the metal. But anyway, I have an, uh, no additional questions. Would like to poll? Yes. I do not have. I am unsure. I cannot make my decision. I do not believe Sunri, as a well-standing Republic citizen, would have committed this crime. Perhaps I was wrong after all in my thoughts about Sunri, says that guy. If the defense has no more questions, the court will call out Elora, Sunri's wife. Who I'm sure is not biased at all. You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge well, on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. A supposition for now, Prosecutor. Does the defense have any questions for the witness? Uh, yeah. Let's start with the last one. Sunri was a Republic War hero, wasn't he? Yes. He fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely and was even awarded the Hero's Cross. I don't know how much that means to the Sith or to your Selkath, your honors. But in the Republic, it is awarded only to the bravest, most valorous, most honorable men. The kind of man who earns that medal would not kill someone in cold blood. Your husband earned a medal because he excelled at killing Sith. It relates directly. He does, yeah. Do not let personal opinions sway your judgment of the law. Do you have any more questions, Arbiter? Uh, yeah. Sunri was a cripple. Could he have killed the Lhasa? He was a good man. But his injuries pained him terribly. But he always held on. Always persevered. I don't think he could have beaten her or anything like that. But a blaster? I, I just don't know. Sunri seems fully capable to me, but it seems unlikely that he would choose to do such a thing. Do you have any more questions, Arbiter? Yeah, was it true your husband was having an affair with Elasa? Should I ask this? Should I ask this? I think so. Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. Please, son, you have already questioned the witness, prosecutor. He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. This is very enlightening evidence. It will influence our deliberation considerably. Do you have any more questions, Arbiter? Well, I hope he doesn't, because I'm reloading otherwise. Because I want to see what happens if you find him unguilty. Will you have the... Yes, let's see. I do not have enough. I think that Sunri was perfectly capable of committing this crime. I cannot make my decision. I do not believe Sunri. Perhaps I was wrong after... Uh, yeah. Does the prosecution have any remaining witnesses to call forth? I wish to call forth Sunri himself, Your Honors. Very well. Oh my god. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunry? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them. Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were no, you in millions of innocents. room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alassa and my wife, yes. But I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Do not interrupt the accused. That's a good point. In fact, I think you said quite enough already, Prosecutor. Do you have any questions to ask the accused, Arbiter? Uh, yeah, you were going there to end the affair. Would Sith, would the, would the Sith object? Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They, they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it, is. it to be. It is. You portray millions of death as... As politics, so it is. Be silent, Prosecutor, this is a valuable point that lends some credence to your defense, Arbiter. 
Is there anything else you wish to ask the accused? Yes. How could Elasa have got a hold of your medal? I don't know. The Maybe medal had gone missing that. some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition, no, Your Honors? No, it wasn't. True, but it doesn't have merit. Deserves consideration. Is there anything else you wish to ask the accused? Uh, yeah. Elasa was a Sith spy, wasn't she? Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? Because she wasn't a pig? You are not helping yourself, Sunri. You only give reason why you might kill her. He merely states facts. The incompetence of the murderer indicates that her occupation was not the motive for the killing. The fact remains, Elasa was a Sith and likely a spy as well. Is there anything else you wish to ask the accused? No. Will you uh, do the poll? Yes. I do not have enough. I am unsure yet. It seems to me that evidence is weighted against Sunri. I do not believe Sunri as a wall standing. Perhaps I was wrong. Yeah. The witness have all been called forward and questioned by both prosecutors and defense. The prosecution will now present in closing its summary of the pertinent facts of this case. I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, giving his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. Indeed. And uh, your closing statements, Arbiter? Uh, well, um, no one actually witnessed the murder. Will anybody reply to me? Because the Sith just got to say whatever you liked. Truth. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. If you speak out of turn again, you will be forcibly ejected from the court. The arbiter speaks a valid fact. Is there anyone else point? Uh, is there any another point you want to make? Um, Sunri was ending the affair. So the Sith killed her, that's what I'm gonna plea. The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. Your time for arguments has passed, and you would do well to remember that. The arbiter's argument does bring up a valid point. Is there anything else you would state? Yes, actually, the... Apparently I can't... The setup thing. Elasa was a spy in the Sith are framing Sunri. Let's go with that. I find that highly unlikely, Arbiter. The Sith have no need for such deception. The fact clear. Speak clear. But the Sith have been known for violence, deception, and murder before. That is also true. Is there any other point you wish to make? Uh, yeah, the Sith are obviously evil and set this up. Let's go there. Objection! Yes. The Arbiter is allowed an opinion as well as you, Prosecutor. No matter how erroneous. Or truthful. <laughs> okay, my arguments are complete. And the court will now deliberate amongst ourselves. This court hereby finds Sunri innocent of the murder of the Sel Sith Elasa. Your honors, no! No! Silence. The verdict has been delivered and this trial is now over. Oh, Sunri, I'm so glad. Elora, we have done all we could for you, old friend. Thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. Off he goes. Let's see. Light? Because I call shenanigans on it. Huh. Nice. Well, I'll stick to that. The only reason why I was even pushing the guy... <coughs> Excuse me. The only reason why I was even pushing the guy was because I th thought that was going to be the the light side. Um, you know, pushing him to, uh, to, um, enter the Sith Academy. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Pushing him to confess. But apparently that's not the case. I like it. I mean, this, this, uh, trial was very reminiscent of the trial in Neverwinter Nights. Act 2, I believe it was. Um, but it, it was still quite a lot of fun, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm glad I went back, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you next episode because we're out of time for right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode, bye-bye.